Hi guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, linear patterns and writing equations for linear patterns. So the best way to get this going is looking at a, a table and actually creating a linear pattern for it. So here's a table and we've got some x values and some y values and you know we want to try and figure out if it's a linear pattern. Now what 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 the meaning of linear patterns is you're looking at you're looking at the y values here and observing whether they are actually increasing by the same number or, or decreasing by the same number. If they're not increasing by the same number or if they're not decreasing by the same number, then you are probably looking at um, a, another expression, which is, well, could be a quadratic or an exponential or whatever. Um, and also it needs to increase um, at the same uh, by the same number and I'll give you another example of what I mean by that. let's just have a look at this one here um, the first thing you'll notice is that basically from 4 to 6 it's increasing by 2 and then 6 to 8 is increasing by 2 and then 8 to 2 sorry 8 to 10 it's also increasing by um, 2 so one of the things you might have heard um, is uh, looking at linear patterns or even straight lines is that they have this format of y equals mx plus c. Now this is probably the easiest way to come up with a linear pattern, um, for me anyway. I mean, I know there might be different ways that people do it. So this little m, uh, it's, it stands for basically uh, these numbers here. So it's, it's the two, all right? Because that's how much it's being increased by. Now in straight line, uh, straight line equations, it's known as the gradient. But if you, I mean, if you think about it, this table can be drawn as a straight line picture. But I'll go into that later on. So anyway, so far we've got y equals 2x plus c. All right, that 2 is basically um, the plus 2. That's where I got the grade, um, the m value from. Now from here, there's actually two ways you can go about to figure out c. Um, and I'm going to show you guys both methods. Uh, the first method is by substitution. So I'm going to choose substitution here. So with substitution, you already have y equals uh, 2x plus c. And now you're trying to figure out what that c value is. So to do that, what you could do is you could look at the table and actually pick any point you, you want. So I'm going to pick um, this one here. I'm going to pick point 0.38. All right. So if I pick point 0.38, um, I just need to substitute my values in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 0.38 in a different color so you guys can see where it's um, things are getting substitute, uh, substituted and so on. So there's 3 and then there is 8. Now notice that 3 is uh, the value for x and 8 is the value for y, which means I could rewrite that equation that I had written at the top, y equals 2x plus c, as 8 equals 2 multiplied by 3 plus c. And if I simplify this, I'm going to get 8 equals 6 plus c, and then c is equal to 8 minus 6 which is 2. So my equation is going to be y equals 2x plus 2. Now I'm going to show you guys another method where you can also figure out uh, the c value. Uh, I mean, it's just working around, finding out what, what works for you. All right, so in this case, I've got y equals to 2x plus c. So in straight line equations, then um, you, you kind of will learn that c is what's known as the y-intercept, or when x is equal to zero. So when they, what they what they basically say is that when x equals to zero, y equals to c. Now, if you look at your table, your table as um, you know it's going up four, it's got four, three, two, one. So we're going in this direction. And obviously, if we kind of follow this pattern, what we can do is we can possibly go x is equal to 0, negative 1, and so on. Now, if we were to do that, 
we can also do that same because it's a linear pattern it's going up by the same value um, what we can do is we can actually go back the other way so from four uh, if we were to go back the other way you know that that should also have a difference of two and that means this number here when x equals to zero uh, y should equal to two so that's another way you can just write your equation straight up you can just say y equals two 2x plus 2, just reading up there. So pick either one, whichever one is easier for you, and then go with it. All right, I'm going to show you guys one more example, and then we'll go from there. All right, so now in this example, um, what I've done is I've specifically left out, um, I've started from 3. Uh, and in the previous example, we had y equals mx plus c. Now sometimes you're not going to always have y equals mx plus c. You need to come up with different letters um, for your equation. Now, I specifically made this one like this. Now, it's still going to have that format, all right? A straight, a straight line is still going to have uh, y equals to mx plus c. But the problem is we've got y there and then we've got x there. But as you can see already, there is... Uh, I haven't actually given you the variable, so you need to, uh, not the variable, I haven't actually given the letter that you could use for x and y. Uh, one of the things is that you've noticed is t you've got time in minutes, and then you've got distance in uh, meters. So, what I'm going to use though, is I'm going to put y equals to d, because that stands for distance, all right, and x, I'm going to use it as t. Um, and I know that there's going to be a number here for M and then a number here for C. All right. So to first off, to figure out what that uh, what the gradient is or what how much it is going up by, I really need to see if it's it's go, all the numbers are going up by the same same number. Um, when I say all the numbers, I'm talking about the distance. So if you look at the distance from 24 to 31 is plus 7, 31 to 38 is plus 7, 38 to 45 is plus 7. Also, it's a good idea to check that on the left-hand side, the x values are going up by the same as well. All right, so that's 3 to 4 is 1, uh, one 4 to 5 is 1, 5 to 6 is 1. Uh, because it's really important that you kind of keep um, keep a lookout for that as well. Because if it's not going up by 1, um, it, it needs to be going up by the same numbers. All right, that's the, always the key for linear pattern. Okay, so we've figured out that the, the slope or what... Um, the distance is increasing by is 7. So then we can write this equation as d equals 7t plus something. Now, obviously, I told you guys, you know, you can actually do this thing with going back in the table like, like we did in the last, two, the last example. So if you look at time, it's now at the moment it's at 3. We know that we could go to 2, 1, 0 if we were to extend this table out. And likewise, if we were to go on distance, it'll be 24 to that should be 7, and then another one to 7. Oh, I'm sorry, that's going to kind of work through there. So if you look at the values, 24 minus 7 is going to be 17. 17 minus 7 is 10. And then finally for 0, uh, you're going to get 3. All right, so the value that I'm looking for is um, 3. So the equation then is d equals 7t plus 3. Now, if I was to do substitution, all right, I'm going to say I'm going to choose this point right here, which is going to be 6 and 45. So I've got 6 and 45. That's the point I'm going to use. So then I've got d equals, at the moment, 7t plus um, c. And if I replace these values, we've got 45 equals, uh, what have we got, 7. 7 multiplied by t, which is 6 plus c. And if I rearrange this, I've got 45 equals 42 plus c. So c equals 45 minus 42, and c is equal to 3. So again, you can see the equation that I get is the same thing as before equals 70 plus 3. Cool. Apologies for the wrong, long videos, guys, but um, 
if you have any questions, um, just pop it down in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer them. All right, thank you for watching.